See, maybe so there is somebody here I want to see. Ah, oh, Senor Hank. Don't well, I told you before, you are interfering with my business? This time you can go, but the next time maybe you won't get off so lucky, huh? No! Grandpapa, I hope you are not hurt too much, eh? Oh, no, it's only a flesh wound. So you are a puma. Si. I know you won't rob me. Oh, I do not want your gold. But you made a great mistake in not renting me and my men for the scourge across the desert when you got too much gold in this wagon. But you better go to town now. And to be sure these banditos do not come back, I will send some of my men with you. 
One. Ramirez, Pedro. You take Grandpa to the town, huh? Ain't you going with me? I? <laughs> oh, no, senor. I must go with the tender feet for the dig up of dead Indians. Huh? <laughs> what am I? Oh, I'm a tarantula's uncle. What did he mean, dig up a dead Indian? Since my brother-in-law was killed down there, Sheriff, six long years I spent trying to get permission to excavate Indian burial grounds for posterity and the knowledge of humanity. My equipment is very valuable. The treasures from the Indian tombs will be priceless. I demand the protection of responsible agents of the law. I will not trust the expedition to a desert cutthroat and his band. But, Professor, you gave me no time to swear an extra deputies. Now you're in too much of an itch to shove off to wait till do. I wouldn't be too hasty about calling him a cutthroat. He saved a lot of men with a bigger stake than yours. If El Pimo were not trustworthy, the government would hardly have offered him the responsible position of law enforcement officer for the Badlands. No, Miriam. If this romantic desert Robin Hood is so responsible, why doesn't he accept the offer? He probably don't hanker to have no strings tied to him, mister. There's a lot of more of us like to be in the saddle with him. Oh, stop this wrangling. Miriam, I brought you with my assistant because your father made the original discovery and because of your research into Indian knowledge and culture. From now on, you will confine your opinions to that department. And it's for you, Mr. Magpie. You have no right to send for this El Puma without consulting me. The government sent you along to assist, not to manage my expedition. And from now on, I'll supervise the protection of this party, just like I was sent to do. I ordered El Puma to escort us through the Badlands. According to Sheriff here, he knows every inch of it. And just how to deal with the thief and murder and cut close at Ryden. Of course, if you think we don't need him. I remember that my brother-in-law was killed by one of the men of your department. Bill Carson. That's why. Hey, you... hi. Oh, excuse me, Mr. Marion. Magpie. Please excuse Uncle Lucius. He's excitable and headstrong. Besides, we can't start wrangling the first day. Oh, I'm sorry. But I just couldn't stand there listening to him slander the best pal I ever had. I don't care what your daddy's diary said. Bill Carson was a square shooter, and he wouldn't kill an old man. Well, he must know he's wanted. If he's innocent, why doesn't he come out and defend himself? He must have a good reason. That is, if he's still living. Besides, he wasn't the only man that was with your daddy that's missing. No, there was Link Benson, the foreman, and some other diggers. But they were all hired by Carson, and he's the only one Dad had any trouble with. Bill was only running the expedition, just like he was supposed to. Well, we won't discuss that. Tell me more about El Puma. He's fascinating. Well, you'll be safe enough going part of the way alone. El Puma will meet you at Buzzard's Pass tomorrow afternoon. Now, I advise you to hire him to go along with you, so I can deputize some men and send them out to meet you. Well, it's against my better judgment. But under those conditions, I'll do it. Goodbye, Sheriff. Goodbye, Professor. And uh, good luck. Shall we start? Immediately. His men, they just drifted from everywhere. No one seems to know much about them, except that they live well. It seems like he gives the most of what he makes, protecting travelers. That sounds like the Foreign Legion. I'm dying to meet him. Oh, you will. They say that he's met ever traveling in these parts the last six years. I think he's gunning for someone. Well, I'd hate to be the one he's looking for. <laughs> um, me too. We're leaving, Marion.
Mr. Magpie, as long as we have to wait, we may as well pitch camp here for the night. All right, man. Drive them over there and we'll get out these tents. Come on, Rita. Much obliged, Professor, for the handout. Anything I can do for you? We'll see. Perhaps you can check over my maps with me. Or maybe clean up these pots and pans. Oh, I can't do that, lady. I hurt my paw fighting and banging yesterday. See? So you're a bandit fighter, too. Then you must know El Puma. El Puma? <laughs> I sure do. And if you'd ask me, I can tell you plenty about that hombre. Yeah? For instance? Enough to advise the professor here to hold his pockets when he's around. And I wouldn't be trusting him with my women folk, another. I don't believe it. That'll be him now. <laughs> to avoid his presuming any social contacts with the rest of the party, Mr. Magpie, you'd better meet him and put him in his proper place. Yes, sir. You will help me with the maps now. Come, Dr. Leonard. Coming, Marion? Amigos, you will wait here. I will go talk with these tender feet. You must take me to meet him. Well, you just heard what he said. Oh, he won't mind. Wait, I'll be with you in a minute. The name is Magpie. He charged the escort. I am called El Puma. Uh, this is Miss, uh, Miss, uh... Marion Willis is the name. <laughs> yes, oh, how you can forget the name of such a lovely flower. She's so beautiful like the bloom of the cactus. El Puma is at the service of the senorita. You must tell me something about yourself, who you are and where you come from. You see, I'm writing a book on the expedition. Oh, no. It is against the rules for my band to talk about the service from my men, you know. We don't ask no questions. I don't ask them. They don't ask me. But uh, you could make just one little exception. I can't find my papers. Where is that girl? Miriam! If you will look closely, you will see her in the act of disobeying you. Well, I'll put a stop to that immediately. My people, they come from all over the world. You see that big fellow on the black horse? Mm -hmm. They're telling me he is a gaucho from the pampas of the Argentine. Maybe he is. He's probably, I don't know. I don't ask him. He don't ask me. You don't ask somebody some question. They don't tell you no lies, huh? <laughs> Miriam? Go to your tent. Excuse me. I gave you specific instructions for the leader of this escort. And they shall be carried out if I have to do it myself. Now leave us. You are with this expedition against my better judgment. Now, you will pitch your camp at a safe distance from ours and refrain from mixing with the members of my party socially. But, senor, I bring my men here many miles to come with you under contract to go into this Indian country. You will be paid for your work, but you will be relieved of your duties when the sheriff and his men join us at Snake Wells. But why, senor? Our expedition is too important to be trusted to a gang of desert thugs. And I'd appreciate it if you'd stop speaking to my fiancée, Miss Marion. Oh, you would. That would be enough. Come, Dr. Leonard. Oh, so you make the dead lines, huh? Well, El Puma can take the hint. You don't have to roll it in. You don't want something to do with me, eh? Well, I tell you, I am just so good for myself what you are. You mind your own business, I mind yours. Hey, you fellows, put that camper way far distance. Well, our chili beans and our frijoles won't get the dirt from this place in it. Well,
You know, you might show a little more consideration for me, Marion. You act as though you'd never been away from home before. You're not to tell me how to act just because we're engaged. You and Uncle Lucius were insulting Del Pumo just because a filthy old man lied about it. I believe him. Sometimes you and your childish notions about romance bore me. You don't have to listen to them. Good night, Lennon. I'm tired now. Good night, dear. Next time, put away that gun, it frightens me. Oh, I'm so sorry. Why don't you sit down? Ah, this desert night, that beautiful moon. I'm thinking you don't sleep so good, huh? Exactly, and I'm dying to talk to someone who really appreciates all this. Ah, see, I know, I know. You know, this Professor Leonard, he's a pretty nice young fellow. A little bird is whispering in my ear today that maybe we're in love. Well, uh, um, ah, see, see, I understand. But you know, sometimes this course and this true love is not going to cook it. Oh, it isn't that. I didn't like his attitude toward you. I hope you'll overlook it. Oh, see, a few one will care. And I'm thinking that before this expedition is over, maybe he'll be changing a little bit. I hope so. Don't you ever get lonesome staying here on the desert all the time? Lonesome? Maybe. For six years I've been on this desert. First, maybe I want to go back to my own people, but after a while I get to love him and well, I stay. I wish you'd been here with my father. Then he may not have been killed. Killed? Your father was... Oh, that is too bad. How did this happen? Oh, it's a long story. Well, we've got no place to go. Well, it began seven years ago where Dad opened a temple of the ancient Indians. He found hieroglyphics on several vases, which, when Dakota told where they had hidden their gold. Mm. So he come to these badlands, eh? Yes, but before they had time to locate the treasure, Bill Carson murdered him and stole everything they had found. Well, what happens to this Bill Carson? Oh, he disappeared along with the foreman and some of the other diggers. He had the same job Magpie has with us. Oh. Well, maybe there is some mistake. It would not seem that this Americano government man would do this to his own kind of people. It is hard to believe, but Dad's diary, the only thing he missed, told of several violent quarrels they had. Mm hmm Marion's not in her tent. Look for her. I'll be right with you. Right. Uncle Lucius had to bring me along. You see, I'm the only one that can translate the diary. Jerry! Take your hands off of her. Huh. Senor, if you're a friend, you only make the joke. Yeah? Well, I'll show you how much I'm joking. I'm gonna teach you a little respect. Don't <laughs> worry, senorita. That tumor will not hurt you. You will not be here to hurt anyone. And when the sheriff arrives, I shall report this assault. Also, that you and your men were not in camp for half an hour until Dr. Leonard's warrant was stolen. Oh, but my men do not take these things. Don't lie. I hate a sneak thief. Now get out and take that with you. Come, Marion. Break the camp. 
We will no longer stay with such peoples. They're ungrateful. Not so fast, Jumbery. I got you covered. That mustache, that thick talk didn't fool me at all, Carson. You know, I think you are making a big mistake to try to hold up El Puma without first looking to see who's behind your back. <laughs> well, Mag, by you old ferret, I might have known I couldn't fool you. No, but darn you, you just got smart of me like you always done before. <laughs> you really didn't want to take me in, did you? I ain't so sure that you made a fool out of me and stood me up to defend you for the last six years. Murder's a pretty serious charge, Bill. Even the boys in the bureau begin to believe your card for not showing up and denying it. I couldn't very well. Link Benson, the foreman of the diggers, is the fellow that killed Professor Willis. I knew he intended to rob him, but when I found the old man dead, Benson and his outfit had hightailed it in the night and put the finger on me. But where'd he go? That's what I've been trying to find out for six years. What I learned, the law was after me for what the old man wrote in his diary. I had to watch my step. I knew my only chance was to catch Benson, get a confession out of him, before the law caught up with me. Well, what are you doing here? Why did you sign on with us? Because I heard that Benson was in this part of the country operating with his gang. So I brought my men over, hired out as a guide to your expedition. I figured I'd run into him somewhere along the line. You figure if he still got to vases, that he'll raid this expedition to find out what the Indian writing says? <laughs> what a brilliant detective you are, Magpie. Well, so long. Don't you trust me? I trust myself, I don't got to trust nobody. You sure got that burner talk down, Pat Bill. Well, I ought to have. I've been doing it for six years. You know, there's a big price on your head. And if you're lying to me, I'm through when you find out that I let you go. I won't let you down, Magpie. You're the last one in the world I'd do that to, you know that. Give him my word. After the professor threw his knife on the ground, I picked it up. Now they're looking for the puma instead of me. Did you get anything? Well, the book and the map he was reading are in there. Why, you locoed old fool. This is the same Indian writing that's on the bases. I can't read it. And you've knifed the only man that could. Well, I've done what you paid me to do. It is your fault. You should have made Professor Willis tell you what he said before you shot him six years ago. I told you never to mention that. I forgot, Luke. I won't say it again. No, no we don't. We ain't licked. I, I know how to get the treasure. Well, talk and talk quick. The girl, the girl, Link, she knows, she knows how to read that writing. I heard her tell the puma. If you're lying, you'll wish I'd choked you. Where are they heading for next? They was heading for Snake Wells. With the professor going, they might turn back. <laughs> no. With all that gold at the end of her trail, she ain't turning back. The rest of the boys will be here tomorrow, and we're raiding Snake Wells for that girl. I reckon with the right kind of persuading, she'll read that writing for us all right. You get back there and keep your eye on her. Yes, sir.
<laughs> oh, old one. I've been to my life, I know what you are here. These people on the desert, they know they can't get along without El Puma. So that old rooster is sending you for me, eh? Well, that old rooster you call him is dead. <laughs> Why you make this joke with me? Well, it ain't any joke when they found your knife stuck in his back. Mine? Not. But that Puma is not... Oh, he's beginning to look like the lightning strike twice in the same place, huh? Where you go now, old one? Well, I'm just going down to Snake Wells to sell this book to Miss Marion. It's the diary I found down by the South Trail. Is it something you find and something you can sell? Maybe I look at him, maybe I'll buy him too. I don't know, I can't read him. Well, that engine writing in there tells where a lot of buried treasures hid. This is telling you where there's money's buried. Oh, well, I can't read them, but maybe I'll buy them anyway. Sure, and Miss Marion can tell you what it says. But you'll have to get down there before Link Benson does. Link Benson? Yeah, a fellow from down Indian country way told me he was riding the kidnapper. What this fellow Benson want from these people? Well, I don't know anything about that. What has Benson got to do with these? You don't know? No, I don't know a thing about well, that. you are my friend for bringing me this book anyway. I will make you reach for this. Pedro, vengeance here, see? Now, old one, this is all for you. Pedro will keep him, though, until you've done what I told you. That's more than their own I've seen for 20 years. I'll do anything you say. That's the one, my friend. Now, all you got to do is go first to the snake well. You say the killer was alone? He sure was, when I left him down near Twin Buttes. That's all I want to know. Marion, your courage in wanting to carry on has, has made me very ashamed of the petty attitude I've taken towards you. Please forgive me. Father gave his life trying to restore these treasures to the world. I know he'd want me to carry on. I only hope we can get it in time. We will. The diary is absolutely worthless to that half-breed murderer, and the sheriff will be with us soon. You remember the directions well enough to guide us, don't you? Mm -hmm. I uh, just got word that Al Puma was in the vicinity. Don't worry about us. You just get Al Puma. I'll take care of her. This is what I get for trusting a double-crosser like you. I know what you're thinking, Magpie. And if you were right, I wouldn't have bothered to rope you off that horse. I'd have just thrown a gun on you. Now, that would have been too easy. You'll likely stick a knife in my back like you did the professor. You know what my idea about that job is? I figured that old Doby did that for Benson. Don't tell me any more, you lies. What are you going to do with me? Oh, Pedro will be along after a while and take you to my hideout. I've got a job to do, and I don't want you to spoil it. Someday I'll help hang you, Bill Carson. Magpie, I wish I could make you believe me. You dirty devil crook. All right, Carl. I'll you.
Sounds like somebody riding hard. Gee, I hope it's Magpie. Wait. It's El Puma. Stay where you are. Oh, put away the toy, senor. I've only come here for my knife. I lose him when I'm in your cap the last time. Maybe somebody find him, you know? You would kill an old man and then come back for the knife you did it with. Careful, senor. Sometime you're gonna insult me too many. Yeah, well, I'll just hold you for the sheriff. Hold it. Somebody's liable to get hurt. Nobody is going to get hurt. Nobody is going to get killed. Hold one. You get the horse for you and the senorita. I might have known you'd be too cowardly to come here without help. Where are you taking me? You will pardon me, little flower, but there is a bad hombre coming to this camp for taking you away. And Puba thinks maybe so when he gets here, you are not going to be found, huh? You're lying and you'll not get away with it. Hold on. Andale, pronto. Senorita, you will get on the horse. It is best for you. They're headed through those rocks. Come on, men. We've got together. What are you going to do? Senor Benson, now, old one, you will work for this little sack of gold that Pedro holds for you. You will take the senorita and follow the road over the hill. And Puma will teach Senor Benson how to chase the wild goose, no? Vamos!
Looks like somebody cashed in. We better get land up a stake wells. Pardo. Forgive me, little flower, for being so late. But El Puma does not like to talk to business on such a beautiful morning. Why have you brought me here? There is work for you to do, little flower. My father's diary. Hmm. You read this funny writing for me, no? I will not. Maybe El Puma make you change your mind. Maybe I, maybe I, maybe I killed this fellow magpie. You still say no? Then maybe I will have my men bring this Dr. Leonard here. Pedro can talk to him with my whip. You still say no? You wouldn't dare. El Puma will dare anything. you are and I hope you're satisfied. Why well, this is the cutter of the broken mesa. Oh I know that cutter very well. There's many times I've camped there. This is great for me you know. Oh so you do not like our company eh? You want to leave El Puma? Oh little flower. But you will never know what a beautiful day is. You have made this for me. You can go right away. Pedro, you will get a couple of horses. Now we will tie loose these, these mag pies. <laughs> My friend, you are really tied up, eh? be ding busted. Link Benson's been sitting on that gold for two years and didn't even know it. It's old Dolby on a horse. Hello, 
Dobby, what's up? What do I get if I take you to the Indian treasure? We split. Let's have it. South end of Broken Mesa. Plumb under our noses. Dig out three small stones from under large boulder. I know that spot. All right, men. Get them tools before the sheriff finds out what's happened. is here. We're safe. Come on.
drink. I'll get on your feet. Everything's under control, boys, but we better see how old Dopey is. Benson got me, like he did with Fletcher Willis. That's what I'm doing. Oh, I want you. Who killed the pencil Lloyd? He made me do it. He paid me for it. I didn't. He's lying. I didn't do it, I tell you. Yes, he did. Search the cave and you can, you can prove it. Search the cave, Leonard. Not so fast. Well, Miss Marion, it's taken me six long years to solve this case. Mike Pride, do you think I might get my old job back now? If you're able to get around after I get even with you for leaving me tied up for a couple of days. <laughs> hey, don't muss him up before I can sign up all his double riders as deputies. You better get along now and testify against this hombre. Well, young lady, you remember one time El Puma he tell you that maybe some dandy sort of change will be, eh? <laughs> CC and swell too. <laughs> well, good luck to you both. Bye.